Hello everyone, it's Tail Retro coming at you with a gameplay of Seven Mysteries The Last Page. I recently found this game on Steam, it was on sale for $4.99, and it actually looked pretty good for a pixel horror game. Uh, about this game, that that night at the only school of a small town, a group of students and unintentionally discovered their school had been hiding things that should have been left unknown. Every student knew about the tales of what happened there, except them. Then, unknowingly, the unacquainted students were somehow connected to the under, under, uncover, connected to uncover the hidden. Excuse me. <laughs> Together, they tried to open doors, hoping they would clear away the fog. However, soon as their realization came, when all the soon will that doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, soon. However, soon will their realization come when all the pieces of the final puzzle gather. All will fall in a dead silence with the same thought about how about why they cross each other's path in the very beginning actually sounds very intriguing I I just have you know something wrong with my throat yeah so we're gonna take a quick pause <laughs> we're back anyways let's get started with a new game all right I was learning Vietnamese, and my friend is Vietnamese. Oh yeah, we're starting a channel together, that's gonna be great. Anyways, this story is about the weird people whom I met during the years that, bef years before that happened. But first, let us explain from when I first set foot in this place. What do you want me to call you? Let's see, Tail. Cause that's always great. I could keep it. Wait. Yes. Okay. So I remember how to play. It showed intro at the beginning and it also said lights off. No. No lights off for me. I'm sorry. Hold on. Gotta scratch my ear. Jesus Christ. Anyways. So you want me to call you Tail Retro? Tail Retro. Okay. Tail Retro. Right? Pure Ace. How do you know my computer's name? That is wrong. That is morally wrong. How do you know my computer's name? Uh, okay. All right. My name is Nathan. Nathaniel. I'm gonna call you Nathaniel. I will soon have my, have to kiss have to kiss my life goodbye, and you will not believe where I am standing if I go straight into the issue. <laughs> I have no idea if now is a good time to do this. I don't know if anyone around here still remembers that, but what is that? I want to know what that is. Before I get swallowed by the void, I must tell you about the events that unfolded here years ago. Chapter 1. 13 steps. That kind of looked like a bee. Loki. Loki looked like a bee. Everything began when I moved to this town and enrolled into the only school here. <laughs> I got an achievement and the story begins. At that time, some students were gossiping about the many deaths that ha death yeah, I have speech impediment, so many deaths that happen on the campus grounds. How queer it is to hear bad news at the moment. You set foot to your new home. Still, compared to what's happening now, the rumors were not so strange. They told many stories. I did not know whether they were just making it up, but the stories always aroused my curiosity. <laughs> I feel like something's getting aroused. This is my bad, sorry. <laughs> I remained in my corner and silently listened to all the tales they told. And the first tale I picked up was was about a pair who had the what was that tale? Yeah. Anyways, uh, and the first tale I picked up was a pair who had the patrol the school grounds at night. I heard a popping sound. I don't like it. At that time, um, why is it saving? Why is it saving? I don't like this. I don't like this. What's that? Um, hi. What took you so long? Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting? Sorry, but if you want an excuse, I went to get the flashlight from the security room. Having to go patrol every night puts me on edge sometimes. So where is the flashlight? I only see the air on your hands. Out of battery. Useless. Can't you pull yourself together once for a chance? <laughs> whatever. Let's be quick this time. We don't have- we don't want things to turn out like usual. I'm going ahead. We both know what will happen if we linger. 
Um, I got a scar on my cheek. I've been through some shit. <laughs> We're not close enough for you to act like my boss, secure McDonald. I can hear you. Next time, make sure I cannot hear you before bath mouthing me. I can do that. Me too, man. Me too. Yo, I don't like the look of this. Whoa, save, boy. Well, it's on the Billington board, though. Okay, well, she walked ahead, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna mosey on down. Oh, there's a door. The door's locked. All right. Bulletin board. Nothing. Okay, so... Also, I'm kind of say. Oh, sh They said something again when the guy set foot on to the school. He seemed to know what that was. Um... Was that a narrative, or was that out loud? I should have never come here. I should go after Kiera and get us out of here as soon as possible. Where is she? Hmm, door's not locked. Hmm, the door's not locked. Hmm, the door's not locked. Well, hmm, you should go through the door. If it's not locked, you should go through it. Wait, we got a page. Okay, uh, item. Can I read it? Oh, page one. Where are you standing? Language book. Oh, so you could change. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. Okay. Um. He heard glass breaking. It came from a nearby classroom. He tried to convince himself that it, that was his companion's prank. Why? To suppress his fear, maybe. Kiera? Kiera, is that you? Or... Here I come, prepare yourself. Is it back this way? Can I not look at the screen? Oh, it's in there. Mmm. Kiera, stop horsing around, I know it's you. Um, I don't think... He walked... <sighs> Y'all heard that? That was my heartbeat. Anyways, as he walked on and on with all the theories running wild in his head until he saw the window. I'm not looking. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm not going to look at the screen. I don't want to look at the screen. Oh my god. 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 A stone? I don't want to look. 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 Wait. Huh? Huh? Help! Someone's behind the window. Oh God! I must get Kira now. They don't know if it was out of fear or something or something else, but he ran like hell, as if something terrible was gonna happen. How do I run? Oh, that's how I run. Go, go, go! Ooh, get out of there! Ooh! I scream. It froze him in fear. But for some reason, he continued to descend into the darkness, even though he knew fear has long since taken over. Run, run, run as fast as can. Run, 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 run. Get out of there, get out of there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I go the wrong way? The door's locked. Where do I go? I think I go back up here. Okay, yeah, I do. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, please don't let there be jump scares. By the way, there's a uh, seizure warning. I forgot to mention that. Um, I'll put it at the beginning of it. Ooh! A broken light bulb. Everything in this school is freaking ancient. Uh, I know, right? Uh, Kiera, 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 Kiera. Kiera, 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 Kiera. Kiera, this isn't funny. Kiera, this isn't funny. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Um, these stairs. When I first transferred here, he and I counted them for fun. Twelve steps. I thought it said thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirteen? I was right. Something strange happened, but it was far from the strangest. Impossible. There was only twelve steps. He ignored and continued to look for his friend, but at the moment he got down to the thirty step. What's gonna happen at the thirteenth step? I already Okay. Hi. 
The lights back on. Phew, probably just the generator. Kiara must be long gone by now. I should I should go home too before something else happens. Do I go back this way? <gasps> what the fuck? 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 Which way do I run? Which way do I run? Which way do I run? Which way do I? Time out! Time out! Time out! Hold on. What? I'm freaking out here. I'm, I'm freaking out. Nobody knew what was happening then, but everybody, everybody felt the need to escape as soon as possible. Even me. The school always somehow feels sinister and suffocating. Sometimes it was dis disturbingly silent. The tales floating around only made it worse, though. I you know I should have moved somewhere else. Uh, however, things were not so simple. Uh, I cannot really describe it. It's just, it just felt so close to me. Not as nostalgic or familiarity. Familiarity, whatever it's called. It's so weird, however. How, after all this, I still don't get that feeling. Weren't they all? I've been... I don't want to look at the screen. <laughs> uh, I always zone out when I recall that feeling. But you will know what happened soon enough. Chapter 2, The Music Room. <sighs> Dude, that messed with my nerves. Low-key messed with my nerves. Sometime later, those students started yelling, telling a new story. As if telling each other rumors of the school tradition. This school is, this story is about a girl who was in the school grounds one night. They said something was there in the music room. Something that was waiting for her to go to open the door and step inside. Something? Oh, it's such a stuff. I'll leave him behind. Yo, hold on. She was just having some movement when she heard. She knew something was wrong, but her curiosity, she said just, I don't want to step in that room. No siree. Uh-uh. I don't want to get scared. It's so dark. The lights won't turn on. Silence covered the room. She knew something was wrong and decided to leave. Right then, she got to the door. Something slammed it shut on her. Just seconds later, the eerie dead silence returned. The music room is so no so noisy and lively during the day, but no one could picture it. And night falls. Absolutely no one! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! What the fuck? Turn to the issue blocker. It has begun. I must give him a bail as soon as possible. Uh, she tried to break the door open, but all of her efforts seemed futile. And then, okay, okay, she screamed. So as if so, it is grew darker. Oh, if she realized the suddenly she could do, suddenly she remembered that she made her, what made her into the darkness. She flew and made her way to the piano. Oh, uh, nothing. She felt hopeless. She wanted to get out. Uh, uh, oh, there was something behind me. There was something behind me. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Oh my god, what? Did you guys see that? I'm gonna zoom in if there was something behind me. I felt like there was something. If there wasn't, then I'm just being a pussy and you could call me out on that. But oh my god, I am terrified. A candle. Am I gonna light the candle? Can I take the candle? Can I light the candle? I don't like how the music's escalating. Um, huh? A book. A book. Yes, a book. A notebook. It fell from above. The light's back on. Just as I thought, the huge hole in the ceiling, the book must have fallen from there. Looks like my escape route. It's just way too high. I need something to help me reach it. Bitch. 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 I don't think that'd be a good idea for you to do. How do I reach the uh, ceiling? It's not high enough to help me reach the hole. A candle. How the fuck do I reach the hole? There's literally nothing. Oh, fuck off. Can I leave? What's in the notebook? Uh, I don't like how that music's building up. The, the, the bass drum is just over there like boom 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 boom
<laughs> okay, we're back. Thank you, Silent Duck, for helping me. Yes. I don't know why you only thought of it now. I didn't even fucking think of it. I was thinking just stack the tables and shit, but like... Please step down. Okay, you need to candle. Okay, so that's that's obvious. She needs to candle. Oh, I gotta walk through here. I don't. I'm ready to run. Who are you? Huh? What are you doing here? No. What class are you in? No. Hey. No. No. Um. What the hell's going on? No. No. Things have strange for about a minute. She panicked. There's nothing on the student to go away. Girl, composure. A piece of screams. I don't, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. And I fell through. In the end, she fell. One of the gospers even said she died. Kara! Someone was silently watching the blood ooze from his body. Um, I totally didn't run to that hole. Don't even worry about it. The lack of clarity was even easily mad in you. You can easily mad in you. I thought I could suppress my fear if those things happened to me. Then I realized anyone could suppress their fear, but not many could overcome it. Oh my bad. I don't wanna, uh, something's happening. The light, it's gone. No, 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 has he? He still, he still hasn't returned. I'm not looking at the screen. It's not what it seems. Chapter three. I'll play chapters three and four later. Let's see if I can save. Drag me here and the weight's killing me. If you cannot Prince Cash, I'm gonna beat the life out of them. Okay, cool, it's saved. Alright, so thank you so much for viewing this. And thank you for watching it. Please like, subscribe, comment, favorite, and please leave a like and let me know if you like this or not. And uh, I'll continue the series. And I'm probably gonna continue it anyways because I actually think it's, you know, real interesting. And I'm gonna follow up with a different video tomorrow so thank you so much for viewing this video and i'll see you guys in the next one and until then goodbye